gorgeous day, so we've decided to jump in the van and take a Sunday drive. We had a debate as to where to go, and we have limited time, so we figured we'd spontaneously drive over to Cherokee and take a walk through the interpretive farm over at McConnell Lufty Visitor Center in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Coming across from Maggie Valley to Cherokee is always very entertaining. So anyway, hope you enjoy coming along for the ride. Uh, Krusty's handling fine, not any hiccups, so that's awesome. We're passing Santa's land right now, and we'll be passing the casino pretty soon. But if you've never been to Cherokee, here's your chance to kind of see what it's like. these people were over here with these long telephoto lenses. Listen to the frogs.
So this is a Kana Lefty Visitor Center. It is the height of elk watching season because they're in the rut, which means they are being very loud, very boisterous. There's always a possibility of seeing a wrestling match. And this is right at the area where you have the interpretive farm, which is a conglomeration of historical buildings that um, they have basically collected throughout the park and brought to this location and reassembled them into a like a working farm that would have been back during the time of the early settlers to the southern Appalachian region. Right now it's obviously completely overwhelmed because of all of the folks here to see the elk which it's crazy but you can't really fault them. It is a beautiful setting. So they've actually put um, a modern fence type setup around this to keep the elk from getting in there and tearing the apple trees up. But this little house, the details right here, it says that uh, this apple house was originally in Little Catalucci, North Carolina. It's over on my side. And the farm produced apples for commercial use. The structure is large because it was built into a hillside. It put that upper door at ground level. So they've got two corn cribs here, and both of them are from the Deep Creek area of North Carolina. Those photographs show them when they were in their original location. Hmm. There's the second corn crib right there. breeze and the smell of earth. You people got to take a break and get out. It's such an awesome thing to do, especially when it's just so amazing. The sound of elk bugling in the background. It's incredible. Ha! There's a pig in there. Pigs can bite. Do not touch or feed them. That's a pink pig. So this blacksmith shop was brought over from Cades Cove, Tennessee.
So, and if you're going to come see the elk, please, I urge you, use a sound mind. Think about what you're doing. These are wild animals. They're not habituated to our presence. They are, but they're not. And if you overstep your bounds, you're going to cause damage to the herd because they're going to have to possibly put a uh, elk down because you made the elk mad and you got hurt. It's going to be your fault. So keep your distance. Be smart. Follow the direction of the rangers. We live in the age of social media. You do not want your face plastered somewhere about how stupid you were. So exercise that. And be smart. Three elks right there on the side of the road. Wow. Alright people, thanks for coming along. See you the next time.